Hello everyone, this is the Peaceful Revolutionary Sylvain Rochon and uh, for yet another video. Uh, this time I'm doing a, uh, maybe a final update on the Cache Technologies, uh, the Magrav system, the reactor. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, it could be the last one. TBD. Um, what has happened is that one of my uh, favorite YouTubers, who's a very great engineer, um, he does lots of it, he's been doing it for a long time, kind of debun debunking lots of technologies and doing some really cool reconstructions and whatnot. So, re uh, zero fossil fuel. I'm going to put his link down uh, in the description. Uh, he's been contacted by um, a, uh, a small group of uh, fairly competent uh, individuals in Sweden about the cash technologies because they, in Sweden, have received a reactor. And on, like the blue reactor, they received it on January 8th, I believe is the exact date. <clears throat> and uh, we haven't received uh, any reactor yet, even though, uh, as you know, we've ordered them in early October, but they've received them in, in Sweden. So I was really excited, uh, knowing, uh, you know, seeing this because the heck, I mean, that's, that means there's actually been shipping, which I had doubts on. So that's good. And somebody's been actually playing around with them, but the actual devices that were done by the cash foundation and shipped out. So they should be the right setup. And uh, that's something that we wanted to do over here, but we haven't received them yet. Um, so, so what I've been doing, I've been kind of keeping watch uh, from the Zero Falls Fossil Fuel YouTube. So he, he's gotten permission to take the videos, which are raw videos from the Swedish guys. The Swedish guys don't put these things on YouTube, but the Zero Fossil Fuel, we got permission to, to publish the, the, the Swedish uh, videos. And don't worry, they are in English. And... Um, and I, I put all the links down there with the, the four videos that were uh, put up by Zero Fossil Fuel so far. Uh, and it's dated. The last test from the Swedish team was done on January 27th <clears throat> on following the process. And what's really cool, and, and Zero Fossil Fuel uh, also agrees, uh, the guys, they, they got the device. They're following the instruction on how to condition their circuit as, as well as they could. And also, they've uh, they've exposed the wires uh, around the reactor because, as you know, part of the conditioning means that the the wires and the 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 whole system around should start getting nano coated. Um, so you should see oxidation uh, after a little bit. And they've been following the process of non-resistive loads, and then over and re reported pretty pretty well. And they've they've been plugging things in the right way. They're really methodical. So really following a process around that reactor, which makes me really happy because we want to get valid results. And that means you have to follow the instructions and you have to start with a reactor that is supposed to work from the get-go. You know, there's more likely that it's going to work if it comes from the package than from, uh, from something that you may build on your own. As you, you know, Kesha has been complaining that people don't do it right. Uh, I don't build them properly. I don't plug them properly. So, so the Swedish guys uh, who are uh, fans of cash, they've been plugging it in the right way, we believe, according to spec. Adding the loads according to specs, not too, not too strong, not too, not too small. They've been adding uh, now at this point, as of the January 27, they've added uh, permanent resistive loads, and they've been capturing the right data again. They've been capturing wattage. And we can see how, you know, if it, uh, you know, and been doing the right measurements and then seeing, well, uh, if it's around the reactor for X amount of time, and does it change? They've been gathering the data. They've been really good at it. So really enthusiastic about uh, about seeing actual results that we can depend on from people that know what they're doing and doing the measurements. Um, so, um, I, like, you, you can check the videos in detail for for what exactly they're measuring and their and their methodologies and all that stuff, but I'm just going to give you a little bit of a summary. Um, it, it's like it's been 20 days of processing, which is roughly three weeks, right? Uh, after three weeks, you're supposed to be to see some difference. Not sure if you're supposed to see the oxidation there, you know, the nano coating at that point in time. It's 
I mean, Cash is a little bit cryptic about how much time he, he doesn't know, according to, uh, in my case. I, and honestly, uh, using this method, you shouldn't be seeing any, uh, any oxidation at this stage, and we're not. Um, but according to, to Cash, I'm not sure if we're supposed to after three weeks. Who knows? But they have this setup. So you guys that want to follow the process, you can keep following the Swedish people directly on their site, uh, and uh, which I'll, I'll provide a link as well. Uh, you know, they have raw videos, so it's not as practical as YouTube. But I don't think Zero Fossil Fuel will continue publishing the videos just because he, just like myself, we're looking at that after three weeks, and then the Swedish people are saying to themselves, well, that there was. Uh, there are some changes. It goes up and down, but there's nothing significant going on as far as the wattage either. Another indicator of that that people are kind of giving up is that the other uh, cash followers that I was that were actually building their own devices, they, they're not publishing any videos. Even the guy uh, Kevin Flynn, I believe his name is, a really nice guy. He's been publishing all the workshops, all sorts of videos from the Cash Foundation. He had, I don't know if it's because it hasn't been any production of new videos, but he hasn't been publishing new videos either. He's been publishing all sorts of other videos. Uh, and, the, and the builders, I haven't seen anything from the builders I was following, uh, anything new. They've moved on to something else. Um, I haven't asked directly if, if it's because they don't believe in it or they, they've done testing and they don't they don't see any results. But uh, from what I've been seeing from the Swedish people, the Swedish little team uh, that have high competency, it seems, uh, it's not going anywhere. It doesn't seem to be any value in in increase of uh, of energy output or anything like that going on. No nano coding. I believe they're continuing. So I'll I'll still kind of keep tabs on it, and of course when we receive something we will do our own testing. We're still going to go through it um, if we receive it. Uh, but for for the time being, it looks like this is no no go. This is not something that looks like it's going to get anywhere at all. If I get surprised, the Swedish team maybe starts getting results because they're weeks ahead of us if we do receive a reactor. So I'm going to keep tabs on them. And if there's something else going on through the web, uh, some revolution, I'll, I'll certainly get a sniff of it. But at this point in time, it doesn't look like there's any, any result from good, valid testing off the real reactors that were shipped. Uh, and... It seems like a, a lot of abandonment from the circle I created to kind of validate it all. Like they don't even publish any more videos and whatnot. Um, so anyway, so again, we keep an eye on it, but uh, it, lo it doesn't look so good for those of you who are fans. Uh, and, uh, you know, according to real science and, and, and the current scientific uh, way of looking at, at things, it was not supposed to work unless it was some something completely different from what uh, from what we know as far as science. Uh, but using valid testing methodology, we don't see any results. So if there's no results, uh, it means that the premise and the the, the the new science that is supposed to be revolutionary doesn't seem to be a, to to be in existence. Doesn't seem to exist. Um, so three weeks, I assume is a little bit too early to formally put the nails in the coffin, but I'm going to start just by putting one for now so it can pivot out and we can still you know, get the body out. Uh, but, uh, it doesn't look so good. Anyway, I just wanted to, to give you that, you guys that update and give you the link so you can do your own checking. Uh, because it's important to follow a process when you look at new technology. Um, but, uh, yeah, so uh, if you guys have links to uh, to somebody that was able to see uh, good energy flow measuring the wattage, not, not amperes, uh, current, or, or volts, like a watt increase, and they're doing the right methodology, I'd love to see those, uh, those links and kind of check it out. Uh, sometimes you never know. Maybe uh, you know the Swedish team isn't isn't doing things properly, and there's something I don't I don't really see. Um, so please help me in validating this tech if it is uh, if it if it means to be validated. All right. So in the meantime, there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on. 
uh, as far as energy generation, uh, not generation, uh, well, yeah, no, making energy, basically it's conversion of energy. Uh, I've been in contact with uh, some uh, some pretty cool stuff that should change a world in solar. Um, I just can't talk about it just now because I'm under NDA. So. <laughs> but uh, I, I, well, there, there is solar harvesting technologies that are coming out of research that are actually really, really exciting um, and based on a real off of real science and research at real universities and, uh, with real people that are doing you know non-convoluted uh, descriptions and research and getting real good data that you know we don't need 91 workshops to get through or 50 hours of videos all right sorry I, I needed to be a little bit sarcastic <laughs> but yeah so I'll, um, once I can tell you guys something about that I will uh, it, it's not like you know going from zero to a thousand in, in a second but uh, I can tell you we're, I'm looking at some solar tech that would be two to three times more efficient uh, at converting solar energy uh, compared to what's currently out there. And that's pretty exciting on its own and, and you know, without increasing costs, actually, without increasing costs, same costs as normal solar panels. That's getting pretty good. All right. But anyway, when I, when I get there, when I can uh, actually show you guys something, I will. In the meantime, peace. Keep the revolutionary uh, re revolution going. Uh, feed me with uh, with good technology, good information, good anything. If you find something really exciting, and I'll certainly check it out for you guys. All right. Have a nice day. Ciao, ciao.